Okay, so uh, first class creating conversation. We just talked about three strategies that I use a lot to give my follower the uh, opportunity to kind of showcase yourself. The first one is leading something that's really simple and repetitive. The second one is leading something that's really like slow and drawn out. Uh, and the third one is to lead something that's kind of open-ended. Keep in mind those first two followers like might present themselves unintentionally by the leader. Like I lead slow movements all the time that I wasn't doing deliberately to like give you the opportunity to style, but because they happen to be really slow, they do give you the opportunity to style, even though that may not have been like my intent within it. Okay? Um, so when we're leading that like basic repetitive motion, it's a super simple repetitive motion. That's not, that's technically what I'm leading, but not what I actually want you to do. So the variation that we did was a repeating sugar tuck. One, two, tuck, tuck. Remember, make the last tuck a little bit different so she knows she's gonna exit with the turn. Yes, that's what I led, but that super boring repetitive motion is not what I actually want. I want you to make it more interesting, add some spice to it. Oh, there we go. I'm not technically leading that, but she's doing what I am leading while adding that into it. Then we did the really slow one. We did this quick drill where we were just doing like a slow inside, slow outside followers. For you, you can experiment and see like what all can you get away with while still doing the turn and making it around in time. And you'll find if he's doing a four count turn instead of a one count turn like he normally does, the answer is a lot, right? We did this one. One, two slow, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's the basic form of what I let, but again, not what I want. I want her to add to that. She can go and backtrack, exaggerate the motion, go off the track, go up, go down, add extra footwork. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. She's still done by the time I want her to. Leaders, if it feels like she needs a little bit longer on that one, I tend to be pretty malleable. I'll be like, okay, you want 10 counts? We can do that instead, okay? Um, I did show, sorry, this variation, for those of you that were a little more advanced, you could do it from here. One, two, slow through the duck instead, right? So similar principle, slightly fancier pattern. We then did the open-ended one. We did it from this move. One, two, three, and four, five, and six. I drew that out, made it really slow, and then kind of stalled out with my own lead around three. She takes over at that point. She can do whatever she wants, but there's some restriction, which is it should at least somewhat resemble my original intent. Roughly speaking, she still goes where and the direction that I wanted to. She kind of finishes using either the frame that I set up or the momentum that I left her with, right? But she can kind of take the scenic route to get there, add a little extra, take as long as she wants. If I go like this though, she probably shouldn't suddenly do an outside turn. That would throw me off. So for example, one, two, she can take it from here. And notice how I'm reacting and I'm moving with her. I wasn't controlling that, but I was still following along with whenever she wants to do that turn. Extra possibilities I showed but didn't teach, right? We're leading the walks that are really repetitive. Boom, there. I do this one sometimes on a sugar push. I'll take that back and forth, right? She can add that, or people do this one. Boom, boom, she can spice up that a little bit. Right? Uh, slow turns, the slow movements, I might do that from an outside turn as well, from here, right? The one where we stall out, sometimes I do that on like a sugar tuck, and I'll stall kind of on the tuck and let her take it from there, right? Or sometimes I'll do that on like the inside turn. When we did, I might set up the inside turn, but then kind of stall out right here, and she can do what she wants from there. Works out similar to, but a little different than the slow one. Uh, one principle I mentioned that I like is to lead like more of a move first, and then I'll let her finish it out. So like I'm leading this, and then I set up the end, and I let her finish the rest of that momentum and movement there. All right, awesome. Thank you guys so much. Great job. We're doing like a quick big half song right here. Everybody's doing a brand new dance now.